quoting George W. Bush. Also, is that the most fitting quote to start this movie? I feel like rarely is the question asked, is our children learning, would be a more appropriate quote to start this dumb movie about dumb people making dumb decisions. Uneven cheese distribution on your nachos. There is a dome of cereal that has to be eaten completely dry because it can't sit in the milk. What sort of monster does this? This singular person is lit like the clouds have parted and God herself is calling her home. I know how to make tandoori chicken. I, I contribute to NPR every single year. They are racing to spit out as much personal data as possible so they won't feel as slutty for sleeping with a total stranger. And that's a hilarious bit of therapy-worthy denial. But also, linking tandoori chicken consumption to NPR is just sad, movie. Low blow. I have a 39-year-old son named Brennan who still lives at home with me. Considering this to be foreplay. As you all know, my youngest son, Derek, couldn't be here because of an important fishing trip. <laughs> Holy sh**. That is not a good excuse. But um, he was recently let go from his job at PetSmart, so he is gonna be living with us. Imagine going to a wedding and the bride stands beside her new husband to speak on the events of the day, but rather than expressing relevant stories about their relationship, she talks about her odd relationship with her adult son. Now imagine stabbing a toothpick beneath your fingernail. The second is a more desirable experience than any part of this scene or many others to follow. So he is gonna be living with us. Castrating your son in front of 100 people. Somebody's awfully quiet back there. The movie opens with two separate parents treating separate 40-year-old sons like they are preteens. Does that sound funny to you? Then you are in for a good time and also f*** you. Brennan, you're 39 years old. Maybe the best time to play the age card was back when he was 24 or 25. You are technically married now, but that does not mean that they have to live here. Dale, I think it's time for a change for both of us. This is apparently a conversation they have not had yet, despite a wedding having already occurred. Suppose Nancy sees me coming out of the shower and decides to come on to me. This entire movie is just this. Just look how stupid and immature these two are. Just what the f*** is in this huge square bowl and why is there so goddamn much of it? They are eating nuggets and fries and salad and... The mom seems to have something different, but none of that requires 24 ounces of ketchup mixed with mayonnaise. I'm his mom. For example, I've only heard him sing twice. That's impossible. Literally impossible. You want to show him the room, Dale? Show him where he can put his stuff? Are we or are we not in the middle of dinner here? And why didn't they show him where to put his stuff when he first walked in, instead of waiting until it got dark and dinner was half over? But Derek got his football buddies to replace the choir. And then somehow none of the teachers who lined the school theater saw this and stopped them, because asshole students somehow find a way to be assholes. I sort of joined in as well. Mother bullies. Derek went on to win the contest by lip syncing Ice Ice Baby. Oh, that's a great song. It is. It is not. Having this much room on a queen bed and choosing to sleep as if you were on a twin. And maybe we should just both bang her. And we'll put up with the in the meantime. Who's the That word had long been taboo, and rightfully so, when this movie came out. Fuck them for hiding behind the these asshole man children would still use it excuse. Use this word, you get 10 cents. I don't make the rules, except I do. And these rules are necessary. Stop using this word. I'm putting a rat trap between your legs. Which is just a piece of wood with a bit of metal. So not really that big of a deal. A set rat trap is an entirely different threat. Ah! Oh! Attempted murder. Here begins a series of pranks between the two stepbrothers, and sadly, none of them are funny. And all of them are way too over the top, considering they just don't like that their parents got married. These girls scream at his fake wounds, but this suggests he got up, never looked in a mirror, didn't see anyone else in the house as he got ready, didn't touch his face or his neck, and also couldn't feel tons of makeup prosthetics on his skin. If you touch my drums, I will stab you in the neck with a knife! Did this movie even have a script? Or were Riley Farrell and McKay so high on their own sh they thought they could improvise an entire movie. Hello? Robert, they're like animals! Hey, you... Please, stop, stop screaming, please. Somehow, Robert, of all people, is the one to save the child men from their stupid fight. Not one person watching the fight has called the police, the news station, or their church's prayer line. Number one, you will fix the f***ing drywall now. Number two, you have one month to find jobs or you're out in your asses. They are still not kicking these two out immediately. The two sons are f***ing evil and stupid, but somehow these two parents are actually worse. I witness with my eyes your testicles touching my drum set. Nope, you came in and tackled him from behind before you had any chance to actually see what he was doing. No television for a week. Yeah, that's right. Parent by taking away a completely unrelated thing, the television. Has no one thought that an appropriate punishment would be to just move Dale into the empty part of his drum room? Not only would that solve some of the tension, but it would probably end this movie faster. Goes in Robert's wall safe, oh. and it's gonna stay there. I guess everyone is forgetting that you can buy remotes and reprogram them to the TV. Here we have a gag where they both sleepwalk at the same time. 
This information is both new and unfunny. Also, since destructive sleepwalking is a regular occurrence, how has no one replaced all breakable dishes with plastic? It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Close the goddamn doors of your fucking fridge. This kid has managed to buckle into his seat and sit in the center, and it's infuriating. So Brennan's brother, who was excused from the wedding for a fishing trip, is the dad of an acapella family? And more sinful than that, he's taught them a Guns N' Roses song from the 1980s? The worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah, this guy is an asshole who attacks his wife for singing flat, but he's not so much of an asshole to call out the kids for singing flat and sharp all at the same time. So I guess that leaves it up to me. Thanks, movie, for forcing me to do what this dad won't and send these horrible children and their terrible singing. Guilty as charged <laughs> with the stories. Guilty as charged. I never heard that laugh before. Yeah, it's almost like you just met and got married pretty quickly and don't know much about him at all. Does it ever rain in this universe? Electronics are hanging out by open windows in a fucking tree. And even if it doesn't rain, what about the squirrels that would devour whatever is in this bucket? It's like masturbating in a time machine. The future of porn is calling from 2023 and states firmly that you're using the time machine in the wrong direction. What if I were to tell you that I could sell this house? We are now talking about real estate and the fact that it may be the most interesting part of the movie so far is a real shame. I haven't had a carb since 2004. This plate and this beer say that your carb intake is more than zero in the last five minutes. Check these out. See these? I would give all the sins back if there is a blooper reel at the end of this movie showing Adam's actual very basic and substandard abs. Aside from that <laughs> trying to punch me. Also, he actually successfully did punch you and you fell like a bitch. I wanna roll you into a little ball and shove you up my vagina. This is a joke from an Amy Schumer stand-up special. This is the most uncomfortable lip exfoliation technique that I have ever come across. Randy Jackson from American Idol. Why do you have Randy Jackson's autograph on a martial arts weapon? Dale would be amazing at samurai sins. Favorite non-pornographic magazine to masturbate to. Good, Good housekeeping. housekeeping. Jerking off to cakes and home decor instead of using the Sears catalog like a normal person. Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. This is not karate. Two 40-year-old men peeing together at the same time into the same toilet. And I get that the movie is trying to make this the joke, but it is not working. You don't need permission from us to build bunk beds. You're adults. You could have fooled me. Also, why didn't he just say, you are moving out in three weeks, so what do I care? This is so scary. I like how this guy only now thinks this is scary. Rumpus time is over. These step-parents are the true villains of this movie. Who made all this toast that no one is eating? And why? Actually, we'll be interviewing as a team. We're here to f up. For some reason, these two are allowed to continue on with the interview by this person. Pam. 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 With an There's M. There's a D on the end. This Pam's on for a lot longer than it remains funny. Wait, shut your mouth. Shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. I don't even understand what's happening here. It's not funny. It doesn't make sense. But by God, it's worthy of a sin. You're wearing tuxedos to a job that requires you to clean bathrooms. Is an entire interview needed here? Surely there isn't much to know about a potential employee beyond, one, their ability to show up on time, and two, if they can withstand the horrors of a public restroom. Don't worry about my dad. Got him sewn up. He does not. I'm a world-class singer. He is not. I feel like a lightning bolt hit the tip of my penis. Yeah. Anyone who has peed on an electric fence will tell you that feeling is not a good thing. Hey, f stick. Jesus f***ing Christ. Is that your boyfriend? Is that your butt buddy? The homophobia is strong with this one. Look, Mr. Godaki, just leave me alone, will ya? I guess the idea of continuing to walk along the sidewalk and not engage in conversation just isn't an option. Shut your mouth, S.A. Having kids say violent sh for cheap laughs. If you don't come over here, and lick that white dog shit. I'm gonna plow into your nose with my fist. These kids have the location of dog shit locked into the GPS section of their brains because somehow it has morphed into a form of entertainment. As he licks white dog shit. I ask you why you pledged allegiance to Adam McKay. You're adults. It's time you started acting like adults. But only just now. Let's give them something to talk about. That is terrible singing, despite Dale's reaction. And I hope these assholes paid Bonnie Raitt her due for this abomination of a cover moment. Brennan, that is the voice of an angel. Exaggeration. Please let us know the next time you are on site and in the sin zone. We'd like to take you out to lunch and throw a drink in your face. I f***ing love you. Okay. I I'm just thinking Think about our life together. This client-patient relationship continues beyond this session. Please give us some privacy. He just died last night. At this point, Derek should know the man babies are going to sabotage his home selling attempts. So why wouldn't he become proactive and prepare the buyers ahead of time? Derek may not know the impending prank, but even a broad warning is better than nothing. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Scarface. Yeah. Thinking Scarface is the hero of Scarface as he raps every time I call. I produce a court. In what I thought was a private room at this restaurant, I have to ask who the hell is this lady back here? Are they making more than just their own party sit through this shit? 
So they stole their father's boat for a music video and crashed it and still played the video in front of their dad? I'm sorry, I'm not accepting this level of stupidity. Spanking. Also, using techniques one would use to discipline a small child on a 40-year-old says a lot about how this whole situation came to be. That's right, folks. This movie transitions from a 40-year-old being spanked by a stepfather to a month later Christmas with no lube. Oh, you reek of scotch and cheesecake. If she can smell him that immediately from that distance, then dude had all the scotch in that bar. Like, I'm talking gallons of that stuff. I wish movies understood how falling down an entire flight of stairs actually impacts the human body. Doing this lets f message with your food instead of just grabbing his leg under the table. Also, it's Looney Tunes level of insane that no one sees this. Is it our fault? Is yeah. it because we were bad? Yes and yes. Pairing dessert with Windex. <laughs> Am I supposed to laugh here? Am I supposed to find this funny? The premise is literally what if they were 40 but had the emotional maturity of a six year old and I don't know why that should be funny. Good luck and remember I need you out of this house by tomorrow. Leaving untrustworthy adults who have not started packing a thing from their room unattended in your home. They are now blaming each other for the divorce and insulting each other and we are right back at the f***ing beginning of the movie. Only this time they are going to become friends way faster. At least I think they will if they're going to have time to emotionally mature 35 years in a few days and get their parents back together. Giving Dale a living creature to care for at any time in his life. <laughs> Attempted murder. <laughs> Attempted murder. Hey. We're no longer brothers. We never were. We were stepbrothers. Roll credits. Don't call me Angel Face. This therapist is still seeing this patient. I guess Manchild does taxes while wearing a Chewbacca mask has an audience, but this person as presented in this movie so far should be so incapable of doing his taxes, he should have a coffee maker here instead of an adding machine and a jar of pickles in place of the pencils. And instead of the receipts, he should be holding his own doodles of Mario and Sonic eating cheeseburgers. This many fucking pencils. Being a single person and wasting money on a Costco membership, but yay, now he doesn't have to wipe his ass with a rug. Oh yes, it must be exhausting for you to read the first page of a book before having to put it down and crash. I've been earning and burning, snapping necks and cashing checks. Weird that we haven't seen him do any of this sh Randy here is gonna eat your dick like Kobayashi. <laughs> Kobayashi is more like a fold and stuff, or even a dunk fold stuffer. Whatever Randy is doing here just won't work for deep throating. Food, deep throating food. Not bad. You're nailing it. How? How did Brennan pull this off? Not centering the annual above Catalina wine mixer. But I know it, sometimes it's hard to keeping the faith. That's terrible grammar. I can't enjoy the song if you can't introduce it using proper grammar. All I had to do was add the word continue in there and he'd have been fine. The empanadas are starting to sweat. Weird, my college girlfriend's empanadas used to sweat a lot too. Go to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, man. I've grown very fond of that place. So Will Ferrell has movies where he name checks and or endorses Applebee's and now Outback Steakhouse? Is there an aughts era Ferrell movie where his character loves chilies? Back the fire, buddy! This part of the movie hinges on the singer getting angry at a heckler who keeps asking them to play non-80s Billy Joel songs. And have you ever been to a catered event where some dude was right in front of the stage constantly heckling the band and screaming out songs he wanted them to play? Because that's not a thing. But also, the song is called We Didn't Start the Fire. Crowd yelling, douche face dick, not start the fire. Get it right if you're gonna be this much of a dick about it. It's like going to an Adele concert and sitting front row, constantly screaming, rain! Or going to a rage concert and shrieking, name of! Hey, Billy Joel, do up sucks! Why has no one in the event staff even tried to remove this guy at this point? I know the movie wants to turn this into a failure for Brennan, but even the other guests should have booed this guy out of the party several comments ago. You know what? You cost me money. How? Didn't all these people still pay to come to this party? Band singer mouthed off and got arrested, but the event is a hit. Also, it's weird to watch Adam Scott play an even bigger dick than he plays in Ben Stiller's The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, which I just remember no one really saw, but trust me when I say that Adam Scott is a total dick in that movie, but not as big a dick as he is in this movie. You're Audi 5000, my friend. I'm not sure this counts as firing him from a legal standpoint. I see an empty stage. Except for Randy front and center on the microphone, talking to the crowd as you speak. I see drums. I see a drummer, I see a microphone, and I see a singer. Jesus, dude, have you learned anything? I wanted to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex more than anything in the world. Someone got bullied a lot as a child. I hated the way you guys were before. I mean, I hated you. But it just kills me to see you so crushed and normal. What the f***? 
you sir have learned the wrong lessons. Prestige worldwide. That's what you. Uh, that's what you got to do. The company that offered video editing, global strategy, and catering. This poor T. Valare is on for all the some time. While it is kind of humorous, he is singing the Andrea Bocelli hit "Time to Say Goodbye" in Italian. It's also unacceptably stupid that this dumb f knows these lyrics in any language. He can't count to ten. F this ending is really stupid. Dale repeatedly shouts boats and hoes into the mic, and it's not funny, but also no one seems to react to it at all, almost as though they don't find it funny. The other stepbrother's wife hallucinates a forest encounter with a centaur Dale, and what the f***? You people do know that weird doesn't always equal hilarious, right? Even Derek is won over by the singing, and I hate this f***ing bullshit. The fact that the therapist sees this and is somehow suddenly in love with Brennan is the most offensive thing I've seen since Travolta adopted Cage's son in Face Off like it was a shoe purchase. The entire psychology profession should still be boycotting this movie to this day. Drum solos. Ruining a perfectly good ice sculpture in the making of this movie. We could hug. Yeah, you'd like that. God damn it, movie. I couldn't just take your bigot lumps and slink out the door. I had to bigot some more on the way out. I had a legal obligation to be here. Or you could have called the police and done a wellness check, right? You didn't need to travel out here. I mean, the plot needed you here to make sure we all saw your horny fantasy so we could stop being weirded out about Brennan playing the you don't really mean you're not interested, I'll just try harder game. No movie ever deserved a six month later update less than this movie. <laughs> No one is immediately shot with an arrow in this scene. But Brennan sure can wear the shit out of that pirate hat. Therapist openly talks about her attraction to her client in front of his parents, and it's played as awesome. It's okay that mine's not movie quality. Thing John, Will, and Adam said to each other about their script while going ahead with the making of this movie anyway. The movie's mid credit scene has Dale and Brennan literally kicking the asses of a bunch of middle schoolers, and it's supposed to be funny. Laugh, you dummies. While the dummies you like punch down several levels to feel important, there are actually a bunch of quick cut scenes of this shit. And I'm just going to add five sins here to cover it all. You know, I, I'm almost glad that snake spooked those horses. Otherwise, we might never have met. Mom, what's one thing that you can't talk to me about? My sexual fantasies. Uh, house was built in 1825 by General Custer. I don't believe you. No touching! No touching. Favorite non-pornographic magazine to masturbate to? Good, Good housekeeping. housekeeping. All right. I'm going to sit at home and ogle the ladies in the Victoria's Secret catalog. See his catalog. Ah! Brennan, that is the voice of an angel. We're guaranteed a record deal. Our stuff is that good.